Okay, in in question number three, the curve C has equation y equals 5x cube minus 8 divided by 2x square. x is greater than 0. Find the value of dy by dx. Actually, you need to find dy by dx. It means you have to differentiate y with respect to x. So before starting this, let me tell you the formula, introduce the formula for this differentiation. Or if you have a function like this, x power n, so it will be n x power n minus 1. Okay, so this is the formula. We bring the power down and we reduce the power by 1. So this is the one formula you have to memorize. And the other formula, derivative of a constant number. Any constant number like 4, 5, 6. 10, 20, whatever the number is, it is always equals to 0. Okay. And second thing, you have to uh, uh, bring the variables in the numerator. Okay. Here 2x square is in the denominator. So you have to simplify them. So how to simplify them? It You can separate the uh, denominator. Okay. 5x cube. Uh, so it will be 2x square. Uh, split these two fractions okay you can write this is the rule if you remember okay if you don't remember you can memorize this thing b plus c divided by d you can write as b over d plus c over d it is the rule okay you can uh, split this denominator uh, into fractions so this x square goes up uh, can be solved uh, with this one and you know that uh, uh, powers are subtracted okay this x square uh, will be subtracted from three powers okay so only one power left so it will be 5 over 2 x only and 8 and 2 uh, will be solved them together uh, will be solved so it will be 4 and you can bring this one up because power is positive if you make it as a numerator uh, power will be negative okay now uh, the thing just only you can differentiate this function directly like this dy by dx okay so as per rule uh, you know that uh, here one uh, derivative of x is always one uh, okay uh, and minus four this power you will bring it down it will be this one minus 2x and if you reduce the power by one minus 2 minus 1 makes minus 3 okay so finally uh, you get the answer for this it is 5 over 2 plus 8x power minus 3 so this is the fi final answer for uh, first part sorry it is not the final answer first part is done only okay now what is the second part mm, this one second part the points uh, p 2 and 4 lies on c so find an equation for the tangent to c equation of tangent uh, first of all at this point we know the point point is 2 and uh, this one you know that uh, this one dy by dx is a gradient it is called a gradient okay uh, this is a gradient because uh, at point P, P is 2 and 4. So at this point, what is the gradient? Because this value is x, okay, x equals to 2. You can replace this 2 uh, here, in this equation, okay, to find the gradient. 8 into 2 power minus 3 use calculator so it will be uh, 7 over 2 for sure if you don't know how to do it mentally you can use calculator for this purpose okay so this is the gradient and we want to find the gradient uh, equation of the tangent at this point P okay so what is the formula for equation of tangent mostly i'm i'm using this formula what i'm writing going to write uh, write it now so better use this formula okay always equation of tangent through 
this point through uh, P. P is 2 and 4 is so mostly I'm using this formula and it is very helpful and you will never do uh, the mistake while solving it okay so memorize this formula as well for equation of tangent now uh, we already got the value of m value of x1 is given this is x1 okay and this value is y1 so you substitute these values in the equation and finally uh, we will simplify this so it will be y minus y1 and y1 is 4 okay and 7 over 2 and x1 is 2 so best thing uh, you multiply get rid of this denominator easiest way okay and multiply this inside this 2 will multiply with both values it gives you minus 2 uh, sorry 2y and minus 8 and 7 multiply x will be 7x and 7 multiply 2 is minus 14 okay so if you notice that we have to write the equation in this form okay so everything should be on the left side of equation so 7x minus 2y minus 14 plus 8 okay so this is positive if you bring it on the right side it becomes negative okay and this is negative and it makes positive so our answer is 7x minus 2y minus 14 plus 8 makes minus 6 equals to 0 so this is the required equation of tangent and finally question 3 is done